Hey guys, David here and welcome to Digital Outlook. Guys, do we have heaps to talk about in today's video. Ripple celebrates massive win, so guys, let's get to it. So guys, like I love to say, there is never a dull moment when it comes to this digital asset space. And big time things have been happening like crazy. In fact, we've got a massive win for Ripple as a company in the global space. And on top of that, guys, big time rumors and scuttlebutts about an XRP ETF. Now, guys, just check this article out right over here. Ripple Top Council celebrates company's massive win. Well, guys, just listen to this. Ripple's chief legal counsel, Stuart Alderati, has reacted to Ripple's recent win, this time in crypto regulation. In a significant milestone, Ripple has received in-principle approval of a financial services license from the Dubai Financial Services Authority to expand its services from the Dubai International Financial Center. Guys, this is big. And I'll tell you what, Judy and I have been over there to Dubai. And if you want to see a city of, uh, you know, the United Arab Emirates are adopting this digital asset space like no tomorrow. And guys, don't kid yourself. A lot of these centers like Dubai, like Singapore and places like that are going to be major, major hubs for this digital asset space. And this is a big time deal. Now, this milestone significantly expands Ripple's global footprint as a regulated firm and allows for the launch of cross-border payment services such as Ripple Payments Direct in the United Arab Emirates. Commenting on the milestone, Alderati highlighted Ripple's growing global license portfolio. Now get this which is now over 55 nation states, reflecting its continued engagement with global regulators. <laughs> Guys, they did this the whole time that that SEC lawsuit was breathing down their necks. Now, you would have thought most companies, that's all they would have focused on, right? Because of the implications of that SEC lawsuit. But here you got Ripple expanding their ecosystem around the wide world, providing services literally cross-border, major, major, 55 nation states. And here's the tweet right here. Good news as at Ripple continues to add to our global license portfolio, 55 plus and counting, a testament to our continued engagement with global regulators and the growing opportunity in jurisdictions that choose to support innovation. Boom, right there. And guys, you can see that's October 1st. Just this morning that Stuart Alorati put that out. Now, the thing is this, and Ripple says this right here, we're delighted to have secured in principle approval of a financial services license from Dubai Financial Services Authority, unlocking our end-to-end -end management papers, payment services in the United Arab Emirates. Guys, we are going to see global regulation in this space happen, bang, bang, bang. And I genuinely do believe that in this country, right here in the United States, we are going to see something happen, guys, probably within the next 12 to 18 months, big time, right after this whole selection cycle is done. And with FIT21, Financial Innovation Technology for the 21st Century Act, I think it's going to pass with flying colors. And you watch and see how this space literally evolves right before our very eyes now. Listen to this right down here. The milestone remains groundbreaking as Ripple will be the first blockchain-enabled payment services provider, the first one, guys, to be licensed by the DFSA, the independent regulator of the financial services conducted in or from the DIFC. Now, the DFSA in principle license approval reinforces Ripple's aim to extend its presence in the Middle East, which follows the establishment of its regional headquarters headquarters in Dubai in 2020. Big, big, big. Now, Ripple recently announced a partnership with the DIFC Innovation Hub as part of the company's global 
1 billion XRP fund program. The partnership strengthens blockchain and digital asset innovation in the United Arab Emirates by connecting emerging developers to DIFC's extensive innovation network, which includes over 1,000 tech firms. Guys, do you really think that when you look at Ripple and they're utilizing XRP and the XRP ledger in all of this that they're doing, and they're dealing with over a hundred or sorry, a thousand tech firms, and you're watching it being the first, the first one to get this kind of you know approval from the DIFC. Guys, I'm telling you what. It is going to be absolutely phenomenal when we see the expansion of what of these ecosystems around the wide world. Things are changing and they are changing fast. Guys, this is a major deal. Now, Ripple has also renewed its strategic collaboration with NYU Abu Dhabi through the University Blockchain Research Initiative, UBRI, with a total funding grant of more than a million dollars to support NYU Abu Dhabi's research projects and student initiatives major major deals but guys get a load of this now guys just check this article out right over here asset management firm bitwise files for spot xrp etf this came out three hours ago now i have seen a number of articles out there because i wanted to make sure is this real or what's going on but needless to say article after article after article is being released on this and tweet after tweet after tweet has come out over this as well now Asset management firm Bitwise has filed for a spot XRP exchange traded fund with the Delaware Division of Corporations. While this does not confirm an immediate filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, it aligns with Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse's positive outlook on the future of XRP exchange traded funds. Asset management firm Bitwise has initiated the process to establish an XRP exchange traded fund. Details of the filing were confirmed on the Delaware Division of Corporations website and by a Bitwise spokesperson. The documentation reveals that an entity named Bitwise XRP ETF was officially registered with Delaware's Division of Corporations on Monday. Now, CSC Delaware Trust Company is listed as the registered agent. This action represents an early stage in the process to potentially list and trade exchange traded fund shares tied to XRP. While this filing suggests progress, it does not indicate an immediate submission to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Currently, no spot XRP ETF has been authorized by the regulator, as we know, and any forthcoming filing could face hurdles. Bitwise's application is set against the backdrop, of course, of Ripple Labs' ongoing legal challenges with the SEC over the classification of XRP. Now, the SEC, as we all know, has until October 7th to appeal the ruling by Judge Annalisa Torres concerning XRP's programmatic sales. Now, guys... So many legal analysts have looked at this right here, and a lot of them, a majority of them have come out and said, listen, even if the SEC does appeal, their chances of success are slim to none. Why? Because when Judge Annalisa Torres adjudicated the case about the programmatic sales, it was based using the rules and the prongs of the Howey test. And guys, XRP in and of itself, when it's not tied to any kind of an investment contract, does not constitute a security, just like the oranges in the Howey test. Heck, you know what? All those, the orange grows were the securities. And I throw this out there so many times because people just don't seem to get it. Listen, if the oranges themselves were securities, then of course every grocery store would have had to register with the SEC you know, to sell those oranges, wouldn't they? Well, that's the same as XRP. It is absolutely just an asset in and of itself. It is nothing more than that. Now, could it be tied to, you know, contracts? Well, yes, it could. And in fact, in the early days, Ripple did that. That's why there's the $125 million fine. Guys, that's what it's all about. But in and of itself, no, it is not. And so a lot of these legal analysts have said, hey, listen, even if they do appeal, the likelihood of succeeding there is slim to none. Now, Rumors about an XRP ETF are not new, though past claims have not turned out to be 
sorry, though past claims have turned out to be fabrications meant to manipulate XRP's price. For instance, in November, a rumored block BlackRock XRP ETF filing emerged, what was later debunked by the company. Now, the Bitwise XRP ETF filing comes after Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse's assertion that an XRP ETF was inevitable, especially after the approval of Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs in the U in the U.S. Now, Garlinghouse believes that the SEC will approve an XRP ETF next year. Guys, we are watching institutions literally move this space like crazy. And if you think that Bitcoin and Ethereum are the only exchange traded funds that are ever going to be issued, you know, in this digital asset space, think again. In fact, Brad Garlinghouse has said, came out and said, look, there can even be baskets, ETFs with baskets of these digital assets in them. Guys, we are watching the adoption, like if you can't beat them, join them kind of thing, happen big time in this space. Now, should this happen, it could provide institutional investors with a regulated way to enter the XRP market, enhancing the token's liquidity and appeal. Earlier this year, the SEC approved multiple spot Bitcoin ETFs followed by Ethereum ETFs. This is a major, major milestone, guys. Even though it is just a little step, it is a step towards where we're going. Don't miss it. Get out there. Really start to learn about what's happening in the wide world because this distributed ledger technology space, it is going to swallow the current system absolutely whole. I genuinely believe it. And when you see this stuff going on, I'm telling you what, these big players, they are just itching at the bit to take a massive bite out of this XRP ecosystem to be sure. Now, guys, just check this one out too. Ripple prepares for the launch of RLUSD stablecoin to boost XRP price. Now, we have talked about this before, how the relationship between USDT and Bitcoin, how USDT provided liquidity for that ecosystem, how USDC has provided liquidity for Ethereum. And guys, I genuinely believe that RLUSD is going to provide massive liquidity for this XRP ecosystem. Now listen to this right here. Ripple has announced that the upcoming launch of the RLUSD stablecoin will positively impact the price of XRP. Ripple has announced that. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse stated at the 2024 Korea Blockchain Week that the RLUSD will be available within weeks, not months. Following this announcement, the cryptocurrency industry has begun anticipating RLUSD's market release and its potential effects on Ripple. Insider information from Ripple indicates that RLUSD will support the price of XRP. A former Ripple employee working on the on-demand liquidity product revealed that RLUSD will be paired with XRP and will attract you liquidity to all coins due to its listing on global crypto exchanges. Boom, right there, what we've been saying all along and all the FUD out there that, oh, well, Ripple's going to actually use RLUSD. They're not going to use XRP. Oh, they're going to dump it. Absolute hogwash. Guys, I was there in Vegas when the Digital Chamber of Commerce held a very special meeting and a big shout out to Zach that actually got my ticket over there. Major, major, major. Now the thing is this, guys, Brad Garlinghouse got on stage and this is what he said. He said, listen, if people think that we're going to dump XRP, then they've lost the plot. Guys, it is all about liquidity right here. Now, experts genuinely agree that RLUSD may boost XRP prices. Now, YouTuber 24 Hours Crypto noted that RLUSD will provide a stable value for transactions, enhancing XRP's bridging capabilities and increasing its market value. Ripple's chief technology officer, David Swartz, mentioned that RLUSD could be acquired from exchanges by retail investors like USDT and USDC. Ripple has been minting the RLUSD coin on both Ethereum and the XRP Ledger blockchains since September 28th. Now, these preparations are deemed critical for the successful launch 
of the stable coin. Now, following recent developments, XRP is trading around this 60 cents threshold. Guys, just not too long ago, just a few weeks ago, we were in the 40 cents and oh, it couldn't get past 50. Oh, when we were in the 50, couldn't get past 60. Now people are all, pan look, it's just retracing to prior support that or prior resistance to claim that as support and I believe it's gonna bounce from there. Now, some analysts expect the price to rise to $1.32, but of course, there's always risk of decline depending on market dynamics. The release of RLUSD is considered a significant milestone for XRP's future. The success of the stablecoin could strengthen Ripple's overall strategy and bolster XRP's market position. Now, let me ask you this. Do you think that it's all coincidence that we're watching RLUSD coming out at the same time that you're seeing this big time move for an XRP ETF while at the same time you're watching all these jurisdictions around the wide world 55 plus coming in and saying hey look we're going to allow the number one the very first one that we're going to approve is going to be Ripple and it's global licensing and stuff like that I mean the milestone remains groundbreaking as Ripple will be the first blockchain enabled payment service provider to be licensed by the DFSA guys major major stuff is happening big 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 time deals get out there really get your teeth into it i'll tell you what for judy and i nothing has made us feel more bullish than right now in fact we believe we're at the absolute point where things could really start to take off big time and i'll tell you what you don't want to be the one standing there on the platform of that train station with your hands in your pockets and your jaws on the floor. For Judy and I, we've got that ticket and boy, are we ready to take the ride of our lives. So guys, I think we can all feel it that we are inching closer and closer and closer to a big time alt season in this space and one thing i can tell you from being there you are gonna thank yourself that you took the time to get your plan in place and what our coaching program offers that is where you and i can meet personally one-on-one -on -one for one hour over zoom and during that time i share with you our personal journey in that last bull run and what enabled judy and i to experience some amazing financial success. I share with you the mistakes we made so that you don't have to fall into the same pitfalls we did. We take a look at your portfolio and make sure that it's balanced towards your goals and we work together to develop your exit strategy. We can even get your assets off an exchange and onto a hardware wallet, along with delivering to you some amazing techniques that are really going to help you in this space. Now, the cost of that is $250. And if that's something that interests you, you write me right there at coaching at the digitaloutlook.com and we'll get y'all booked in. So guys, I truly hope that you enjoyed today's video. And as always, it's not financial advice. It's just my two cents. Hit the like and subscribe and drop your comments right down there in the comment section. And I'll catch you in the next one.